Yeah. 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 British, British girls and American girls. Ooh. I mean, I had to come to yeah. another country to find my girl. <laughs> I'm gonna say British Whoa. girls. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I dated the LA well. girls. I'm mm. gonna say British. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know what? I'm, I do. What are the main differences between like British women and? I mean, in terms of your type, <laughs> okay. in terms of in your terms type, of my yeah, type. yeah, yeah. In terms of my type, I would say British girls are a lot more down to earth and humble, mm. but still with like confidence and swag mm. yeah, which yeah, is yeah. so sexy to me mm. yeah. and not that LA girls aren't like that but the ones I did yeah. <laughs> in my time <laughs> was like oh your ego runs everything really? like hello 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 Hi guys and welcome to episode 188 on the Tutus podcast. I am Nana and I'm Ro and together we are Tutus. Woo! We've got a special guest in the building. Yes. Welcome to Tutus podcast, Thank Valerie. You. How are you doing? Good to be here. You good? Yeah. Guys, if you didn't hear the accent, she's not from London. <laughs> no, I'm American. You're American. <laughs> Do you get that a lot? Do people like, are people like, oh... Where they you are. From? They're like, what? They know I'm American. Mm. They like automatically, as mm. soon as I speak, they're like, where are you from? Like, yeah, yeah. But they know I'm American. Yeah. Um, you know, this is good because our American <laughs> listeners complain that yeah. we talk too fast. Oh, yeah. And I think it was last week or the week before we said it. We're always sorry for talking fast. We're going to yeah. try and slow down. And American was like, you guys apologize for speaking fast and just continue speaking fast. <laughs> <laughs> we can't change so the way sad. we speak. You're not changing it. Yeah. You're apologizing because yeah. you're going to keep doing yeah. it. Yeah. Like, you get used to it. But like, they're going to hear a familiar accent now. Mm. So hopefully, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that helps. You understand like... Like yeah. everyone uh, speak. I do. Mm. Yeah. There are some words that like I'll hear and I'll be like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what does that mean? Mm. Like little slang terms that you guys say mm. that I'm just like, but I'll figure it out usually. Yeah. What terms have you picked up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need a thing. Because somebody was like, I'm trying to follow the podcast and I love it, but you say certain things. I have to like, pause like and in. find out what it means. Like lipsing. Lipsing. Oh, see, I didn't know what that meant right. until I came here. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I think it was until like I met my girl because she's from here, mm. and she, we were like when we were first messaging each other, you know. Yeah. She was saying, I was like, "What is? What is, she talking? is she talking to me right now? I don't know what this means. Like, what is that? Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of terms like that that I'm just like, okay. Yeah. But yeah. I, you know what's funny? I like Ural's words for things much better than like. Mm. I think it makes more sense. Yeah. I've seen all TikToks when they compare it, and I'm like, oh, words make more sense. Do you know one thing that you need to explain to me? Um. Mm. So when I was watching Studs of LA. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. Does a Did you watch all the episodes? I don't think I watched them all. I did it even did it actually end? I honestly I didn't watch all of them. <laughs> Done. I don't know. I don't I, I, what, I don't think I watched all of them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And since the last one, I didn't go back to check anyway. Mm -hmm. But the twins, yeah. they were like, somebody was scary. Yeah. And I was like. For us, if we say someone's scary, that means I don't know, like, like they, frightening, oh, like they you know, know afraid. Yeah, yeah. But for them, it was kind of it felt like they were saying scary in a way that this person's I don't want to, they're a pussy. They don't want to be around a pussy. That's what it felt yeah, like. That's, that's is that what, what you what call? It means. Mm. What? Mm. Yeah, like if somebody's scary, they're like scared to do something. Like they're kind of being a pussy about it, or like they're okay. not stepping up to the oh. plate. Like yeah, they're scary. So someone would be like, "Oh, you're scary," but it's scared. Yeah. But we say scared. Someone is scared. Yeah, not scary. See, we say scared too, but when we say scared, mm. we mean like you're scared of like something spiders. jumping out on you, right. like spiders yeah. or like something like yeah. that. But if you're being scary, you're yeah. kind of like being a pussy about oh. doing something. Oh. Yeah. That don't make no sense. I'm going to be real. I was like, okay. But I think I'm picking up a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. I was seeing someone from America then at the time. She's from New York. Okay. So I was, she was trying to explain it to me and she was like, English people don't make sense. She was like, no, we, we make sense. No, you guys don't do. make sense. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, makes yeah. sense. I'm, I'm learning more now. At first, I was like, "What? That doesn't make any sense." Mm, yeah. But it makes sense. How long have yeah. you been here now? So not long, honestly. It's mm. been like eight months. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was here for like six months, and then I had to go back and sort out my visa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta yeah, figure it out. Yeah. So now I'm back right. <laughs> permanently. Yeah. So everything's sorted. I'm so happy. Do you like it here? I do. Do I you? Yeah. Oh, we hate it here, child. We hate it. I love it. Why? Because <laughs> the weather. Yeah. <laughs> it's the weather. Yeah. It's it's rain, the weather. It, it rained all day yesterday. But isn't like, all it day? like? It's like a catch twenty two. I don't know if you guys use that. Yeah, term, yeah, but like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, you get to travel to so many places that have sun. Mm -hmm. Like, like, 
pretty cheaply and yeah. it's only like an hour two hours mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in America you have to fly like five hours to places like mm. it's not cheap it's mm-hmm. expensive yes we do have nice we have weather. Miami, <laughs> Miami. Well, Miami. You have Miami I've been to Miami yeah, you have Miami <laughs> and LA obviously yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah but have you seen the prices oh no even to fly yeah. from the, to another state is really expensive. yeah Shit. from LA yeah. to Miami is probably like 500 oh from LA to Miami is 500. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. For real? And it's like a four and a half hour flight. Oh, wow. America's too, America's yeah. too big. It, it's it too is. big. It's a big place. Yeah. Because if we were going to go to like, I don't know, France, you can get there in an hour. Less than an hour. Yeah. yeah. You can get to, we're going to Ibiza mm-hmm. in September. What's that? Three hours? And it's like two hours, mm. two and a half hours. There's a lot of, Spain, there's a lot of places here with yeah. sun yeah. that yeah. you can get to so cheaply mm. and easily. True. In America, not so much. Yes, we have weather if you're living in LA or living in Miami but the prices mm. yeah the and it's quality expensive of life. yeah mm. it's expensive to live in LA oh my god so mm. my apartment that I had was a studio right. that I lived in it was a nice big studio mm. but it was probably with bills and everything three grand three thousand okay. dollars a month let's not yeah. complain anymore then. really <laughs> yeah yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. no more complaining from us it, it is yeah so it's like Quality of life. You're paying so much to live there. Mm. It's it is an amazing place. LA mm. is amazing. Yeah. It is lit. There's so many things to do there. So mm. many walks of life. Everything like that. But you're spending you think- so much money on rent and being mm. there. You, where, where are you going? Do you think that? Well, you don't have money to leave the, the fucking apartment, do you? No, but you like, stayed at the apartment. <laughs> yeah. So the you, one that you spent three grand on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm saying saying home every day. I mean, I hear it. So you, so I mean, obviously, like LA is like a popping place. Do you feel like you don't get? anything in return for being in such a lit place because it's so expensive. LA serves a purpose Mm -hmm. for creatives. Mm, That's what I would say. So being a creative, being in even event producing in the nightlife, I'm a dancer as well. So Mm -hmm. like being in that realm, if you want to be an actor or you want to be in the entertainment world, it serves a purpose Mm. because the connections there you can make so many and there's so many different opportunities and doors. The doors don't open that easily because there's about 5 million of you doing yeah. the same thing. Yep. But you do have way more opportunities. But for me, it's like go there, have it serve its purpose, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. open all the doors mm-hmm. and then go somewhere else and level it up even more. Yeah. Like yeah. that's that's where my head was at. Mm-hmm. I never LA was never like a for life for me, even yeah. though I was there for 14 years. Mm. It was more so like let me get everything I can out of LA and then mm. once I feel like I'm just like okay, now I'm just kind of cycling, I've reached my peak. Right. Yeah. Go somewhere Move else, on. take all of that somewhere else and just blow yeah. it out the water. And that's what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so tell us what you do. Like what have you been up to? <laughs> like what's the creativity? Where's it going? What oh. tell us Oh my gosh. So, Girls Only UK. Mm-hmm. We started Girls Only in LA, me and my three business partners. Mm-hmm. And probably about two years, we were running in LA. We had always talked about going international with it, mm-hmm. making it a worldwide brand, even traveling in, in America as well. Yeah. But we never really had the opportunity. And when I talk about alignment, mm-hmm. oh my God. Yeah. So, we had just been talking about it, but kind of put it on the back burner. We were building the LA brand, you know, still doing events and all of that. And um, I had become single and was, you know, wilding out in the L.A. streets for a couple of months. As you do. As you do. (laughs) For a couple of months. Not looking for a relationship Mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. I see my my current girlfriend on somebody's Instagram story. And I was like, who's that? Mm -hmm. Slid in the DMs. Ooh, we love it. We love that. Yes. Like, it it, it didn't even take 10 seconds. And before that, I was like, I want that one. I'm diving in those DMs. Yes. I dove in the DMs, mm. and from that moment we started speaking, and it was just like nonstop. We didn't stop speaking from there. I love that. And then um, she, I discovered because I, I think I don't know who's. I remember I saw her in Teddy's story. Okay, yeah. I was following because we, we both do the same thing about yeah. in LA here, blah blah blah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why I thought she was in LA at the time. I think she had posted something, and I thought yeah, Teddy was in LA at one point. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I was like, oh, maybe she's in LA too. Yeah. So I invited her. I stood in the DMs and was like, come to Girls Only, mm-hmm. <laughs> come to my event. Mm-hmm. But I found out she was here actually, and so we started speaking, and it ended up being like three months, and I was like, we need to meet. Mm-hmm. We hadn't met. We were just like FaceTiming every day. Yeah. So I flew out here and met her. Yeah. And it was originally she was gonna move to LA. So what happens? Yeah. What happened? So Girls Only was was blowing up in LA. Mm. It still is. It's you know. So I was like, I can't leave. Mm. You know. And so she was gonna come out there. And so I was looking for apartments for us. We were oh, doing all wow. of that. And then other things started happening in my life that I was just like, wait a minute. 
Mm. Like my business partners, there's three of them. They yeah. can run the LA branch. Mm-hmm. Yep. If I come out here, we can do what we always spoke about, mm-hmm. open the international branch. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just like alignment. I met my girl. Mm-hmm. She was going to move there. But I was like, wait, I can move here yeah. mm-hmm. and open mm-hmm. the international yeah. branch, level up our business even more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was just like it all aligned yeah. so easily. Yeah. I think I, when I came to visit her, for the first time, we spent mm. like two weeks together, and it was amazing. And it was like, all right, one of us is moving. Right, wow, Make I decision. love that. Yeah, I literally went back to LA mm. within three weeks. Yeah, sold all of my stuff. Wow. Shit, packed all of my things. <laughs> wow, quit my job, my other mm. job that I had. And told my business partners, this is what we're doing. Y'all got the LA branch. Mm. I'm going to get the UK branch. We're going to blow this shit out the water. Yep. We're going to make it a worldwide mm-hmm. brand. I'm out of here. Three weeks. Wow. That is That's real loving, guys. That, That's yes. some real loving there. I love that shit. Real yearners. Yes. Real loving. It's Whoa. like, you know, like when you're in your 30s, it's like, one, I know what I want. Mm-hmm. I know what I want in life. Yep. I know what I want out of my career. I see the vision so clearly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when I saw her, I was like, oh, I want that. Yeah. So, mm. How we going to make this nice work? And it's nice with someone <laughs> yeah. like this. You really, yeah. You have like a deep desire for as well, yeah. so that's yeah, yeah. everything yeah, works it and it fits and it yeah. fall, fell into place. So you guys weren't doing long distance for that for that long. No, three months. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> She's a Scorpio. What's your love just, languages? Um, physical touch mm-hmm. and words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Same. Mm-hmm. Yes, those yeah. are mine as well. Mm-hmm. I need words of affirmation. Like I need them equally. Probably. Yeah. Like if you're not like hugging me or loving me, I'm like, what's wrong? You hate me? Yeah. Yeah. You guys like this? Why you guys like this? It's true. Like my babes, <laughs> she took long to like message me back the other day, um, and I messaged her like three hours later. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Excuse me, what's going on? Like, why have you messaged me back?" She was like, "I was sleeping." <laughs> I mean, no, but for real, like when I was in a relationship, we used to be like, "You cheating? Like, <laughs> where yeah, are what's you?" What's love Um, uh, acts of service and physical touch. Okay. Yeah, mm. the words thing, <laughs> the words thing doesn't get me. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you guys get played easily. I'm <laughs> because it's easy. I'm I know. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Honestly, the yeah, words, the words is easy, guys. Mm. <laughs> it's mm. easy, but yeah, no, we we be like, you cheating? Because like, you f- I, f- I haven't heard from you in a few hours. Where yeah. are you? Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Man. So well, with girls only, mm-hmm. what would diff- have you seen the differences between doing an event in LA mm-hmm. and doing one here as well? Because obviously the first ones happened now. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't it, guys? Yeah, we had we some great we things. We missed out. You guys missed out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we had the it next was one. So lit. Um, the difference. I will say this, and maybe it's because it's LA. Mm. Girls Only in LA is a vibe. Mm-hmm. In LA, everyone comes with like their clicks. Oh. You know, LA is very clicky. Mm. Everyone I've, I've heard that. Is, yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. It's very clicky. Mm. Everyone in LA has got their little squads and their clicks, mm. yeah. and everyone shows out in LA. Trust me, they come with their fits, and the fashion is mm. on point, and mm. everyone's trying to be a star. Mm-hmm. They just showing out. Here, I feel like everyone. So many people came solo. Yeah. So many people came in groups, but then ended up in other groups by the end of the night. Yeah. I noticed everyone, when I was like looking out into the crowd, yeah. everyone was just vibing together. Yeah. I would see one girl dancing with this person over here and then in another group the next second. Yeah. And it was just like a <laughs> mesh vibe. I feel like people aren't as clicky here. Yeah, I don't know. And not. I love that. Mm-hmm. It's not as clicky. Um, but I, I do think that when everyone goes out, there's a lot of community mm. here, but there's still a list. Yeah, a, a little bit, yeah. but we but we are so, like everybody knows each other, like, cause it's small mm. as well. Like when we go to the same places, so we see each other. So mm. when we come together, like we may, we may enter in groups. So when we come together, it's a whole, <laughs> yeah. like you know? when we go out, everyone kind of does their own thing. We're together, but yeah. everyone's also, like you saw me yesterday, but you yeah. didn't see Nana, but yeah, we were yeah. together, yeah. yeah. Even know you were there. Yeah. yeah, everyone kind of does their own <laughs> thing. So yeah, that's just, this is how it goes. But what about the actual organization of the events? Is it like really difficult? to get like venues in LA and things um not anymore because of like how quickly our status built in LA now people are asking us to come to their venue so that's in the beginning though it was Mm. difficult in the beginning we had to I think our first event was like in the hood and like not really <laughs> like it was like a grungy venue that I was like I don't, I don't know what's that in the corner yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was like after for a few the first mm-hmm. event like we did really well actually in LA and then after the a few we were able to like show people like yeah, what events that you were can bring and around. they just like took yeah. us in how long were you doing it for about two years okay in LA. yeah, yeah. I, almost I think this year will be coming on two years right. yeah. at the LA branch. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, venues. It, it is difficult to get a venue in West Hollywood, which is like the gay 
strip in right. okay. LA. Mm-hmm. Have you been to LA? No, no never. Oh my God. Never. You gotta go. It's a vibe. You've been you wanna go though. Yeah, We've been we saved. Yeah, yeah, it's a vibe for sure. But the gay strip in, in West Hollywood is like ran by the gay boys. Yeah, like, of course They it is. take over every mm. single venue. There's not one lesbian venue there. That's there used here. to be. Yeah. Do you remember the L word? The yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You remember the club that was um, the, the girl yeah, club? Yeah, that yeah. used to be in West Hollywood. That was an was actual, actual club. club. Yeah. Oh, wow. it was an actual like club. Like back in the day. Maybe it was like the 90s. You must be the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it was like the 90s. And they actually had like a like a girl club there. Oh. But um, that didn't last very long. It was like lasted maybe like two years or so, I think. Mm. I could be wrong. That's not that. even that Don't long. Me. Yeah, mm. I couldn't. But. We've been trying to get back into West Hollywood yeah. and at least have an all women event there, but that's mm. been really hard. Really? West Hollywood hasn't been very like open to us coming in there. Mm. Hopefully they will. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like like the gay boys run the town. Like let mm. us have a spot. Yeah. That's but interesting. But I think they're afraid of the gay boys coming and being like, why can't we come in? Yeah, yeah, but they, yeah, because you know? gay men are just uh, you know. <laughs> Do you know what's happened here? Because obviously you've got lick as well. Yeah. And. What I did the door for Lick a, a couple years back, and these guys came and they were just like, "Why can't we come <laughs> in?" They're such energy. main characters. It's not about you, baby. You got so many spaces to go to. Like, you have all exactly. of these spaces. Give us one. That's the same here though with Soho. Like, don't they have so many like clubs? Soho has a lot of. And we've got one. Yeah, there's one called Sheba. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, and, and it's tiny. It's tiny. It is tiny. It's so small. And then you got everything else is all the the gay boys, the gay men, mm. and things like that. Yeah. And sometimes when you go in, if you try to get in, they don't let you in, and things like that. Or you can't play certain music yeah. and things like that. So I must, be, I think it's the same as West Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like the same as West Hollywood. Yeah. It's like, yeah. come on, guys, you got all these spaces. Give us one. Yeah, yeah. let us have yeah. one. Yeah. Well, hopefully That's... that happens soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think be. so. It's really like tough because like for some reason, girl clubs like if somebody actually opened a nightclub like mm-hmm. for females doesn't seem to like last very long. Anytime somebody tries to open why is that? I don't know, but I wish it was a thing because it, it really sucks that like lesbians have to pay right. to go to events all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wish I could put an event on for free, but mm. I gotta live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know? you can't just roll to the venue. <laughs> yeah. Like you have to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I do you think leave. this is, do you think, yeah, it's because women don't buy drinks? It is that. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you this. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Okay, so <laughs> I, I've been, even before I started Girls Only, I've been event producing and in nightlife and ran clubs and mm. managed clubs for like 10 years. Mm. So I've been in the club industry for a really long time. And anytime there was a female event compared to a male event or even like co-ed event, mm-hmm. the sales they in made alcohol more was like... A third, yeah, oh, yeah. no, okay. a third, like okay. really low. Nah, legit, I can, okay. I can read that. Yeah, yeah, because that's why. You see, then. guys are showing out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. they like buy yeah. bottles, they just, and yeah, that's it. That's their way the of money. it's like showing their ego as well. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. even if they go, they're gonna go in the minus, yeah. if they wanna get that girl, they're yeah. gonna go into the minus. Yeah. Whereas I think with women events, like you get a little tequila here mm. and there. Yeah. Like, you're not getting bottles. I don't think. I don't think I see that many girls get bottles mm, like yeah, that. Do you know what I mean? Big bottle driven. In LA, for the girls only in LA, we have girls like to pop bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I said girls pop bottles too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They like to pop bottles, but I think that's an LA thing too. They yeah. like to show out, you mm-hmm. know? But yeah. it's not as much, but the sales are, are definitely different. So it's hard mm-hmm. to sustain mm-hmm. like a consistent nightclub to have that for females would yeah. probably be hard to sustain. Yeah. yeah. So well, until that, that changes, we're going to have to pay for yeah. events. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also that's not even our fault, you know, gender gap, the gender pay gap. Yeah. Men get paid more than women. That's true. Yeah. They get, in general, they get paid more than women. Yeah. Yeah. They do. They do. So, they do. There's that too. Yeah, it's oh. quite it's quite a shame though because we always yeah. we can't just walk into a bar like and just go like you know and yeah. they, and we have nowhere to go basically and even like pay the kind of music. So what about the music? Mm. Yeah. Have you noticed the music here is different in clubs to in LA? Yes, because LA is a little bit behind on like the Afro beats. Like it's it's oh, yeah. definitely. T- like way more prominent and like like the club that I used to like work at and stuff like that they play a lot of Afrobeats in LA mm-hmm. um, but it's it they're behind mm. they're so behind well, in terms of like if the songs are like new music yeah they don't, yeah. Like, yeah yeah like like, when, like they're playing the Tylas and all the new stuff yeah, but like yeah, as far yeah. as like the old school Afrobeats and stuff like yeah. that like you guys play like the Ama Piano yeah. they're starting to a lot mm. more in LA mm-hmm. yeah. but not as much and I, I love it's my favorite Afrobeats oh, and Ama yeah. Piano so yeah. like oh we love that we we are obsessed, obsessed. Yeah. 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 so the club culture here with that and mm. the hip hop mix I think it's way better mm. like I think the music here is way better mm. in I, the clubs I, I, I agree I have to we agree. have some of the best <laughs> DJ, <laughs> we have some of the best DJs here yeah. I agree yeah yeah because even when I went to when I 
out to New York. Obviously, New York is different to Italy. But like they, the music in the club was um. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the drop. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay, this is a warm-up. It just felt like the whole night was a warm-up. Yeah. But I, but everybody was like bumping. They were having a good time. Yeah. But also, I don't know, it's just it's just different culture, isn't it? It's yeah. just different, different culture. Even the way everyone was dancing was different. Like yeah. people were whining to this music that we wouldn't whine to. <laughs> it has more sauce. <laughs> British, British girls and American girls. Ooh. I mean, I had to come to yeah. another country to find my girls. <laughs> so I would say Whoa. British girls. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I've dated the LA well. girls. I'm mm. gonna say British. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know what? I'm, I do. What are the main differences between like British women and? I mean, in terms of your type. <laughs> okay. In terms it's of your type. Of yeah, type. Yeah, yeah. In terms of my type, I would say British girls are a lot more down to earth and humble, mm. but still with like confidence and swag mm. yeah, which yeah, is yeah. so sexy to me mm. yeah. and not that LA girls aren't like that but the ones I did yeah. <laughs> in my time <laughs> was like oh your ego runs everything really oh no I feel like there's some some states anyway not all states is very pretentious some people are very pretentious mm-hmm. so like there's the performance yeah. and I think especially for mass presenting to some extent you're performing being masked mm-hmm. and you're performing Try, like trying to trying to perform all the things that make you mask yeah. as well, and sometimes it's long. It's a lot like of it's overcompensating. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 it is. It's just like people yeah. do it here too, but I yeah, don't think much, it's as though. much. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like so. people in LA a lot wear masks. Mm. Like they they put on this mask to like try and portray a certain kind of light. Every, this is a fun. Everyone in LA, not everyone in LA, a lot of people in LA. Mm you think they got it all going on. You think yeah. they got money. You think they this, their fashion is on point, everything yeah. like that, but they be broke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to into that. I'm thinking, it looks, everyone's rich in LA. It looks, looks like, like yeah, I'm not going to lie. No. It looks yeah. like everybody's up. I promise up. you everyone's broke. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah, now everyone, I was, I'll be seeing some chains. I'm like, rah. Yeah. Why have these men got so much no. chains like this? Yeah. They borrowed it from their friends. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know chair. what? In the, in the stance of the LA thing, Easy was saying that she gave her friend a chain or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She did. Yeah. She, she was saying that she gave her friend a chain. And her I friend, think she gave them all the, all the studs of I LA. I think all of them, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. As a yeah. gift yeah. for yeah. being in the studs of LA, that she gave them all a chain. Yeah, did they get paid? Thing. Nah, she didn't pay them. No. Oh, yeah, no. it was like, it was but she paid for everything, of... like the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She paid for everything, yeah. you know, yeah. took care of them and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the stars of LA. Do you know that jingle was in my head for like a week? Did you like the show? She liked you. Yeah, it, right? I I really like corny shit. So like, I I did like it. Yeah. But did I, why didn't I finish watching it? I think that they took, it was it wasn't consistent enough for me. Mm. So like I watched episode and it yeah. wasn't enough one for like another three weeks or so. <laughs> I like to know that I can binge. I'm yeah. like, yeah. So I'm just that kind of person. Well, if I know it's gonna come out on a Wednesday at three o'clock, I wanna be there on a Wednesday mm. at three yeah. o'clock. But I wasn't sure whenever the, so yeah, I just lost interest after a while. I don't like funny yeah. stuff, so I did not watch it. But I um I had a great it looks time good watching. though, like production wise. Yeah, you know, it looks it looks really good. So Do you know, I'm also that. interested just to know what other mass people abroad are like. Mm. So like I wanted to see like there was a whole range of different types on there. Some of them yeah. are a bit more feminine than others, mm. and some of them dressed to Britney. Some <laughs> you know, the one had the one that had a silver braids in there. You know what I mean? There was different different things. Silver braids. Yeah. You wouldn't have silver braids. You wouldn't have silver braids, right? She's the one that this oh, is the, the one that yeah, yeah yeah that's it yeah, yeah. I tried to find her on Instagram but I couldn't find her on Instagram because she's always doing lives anyway and um so yeah so yeah I, I did enjoy watching fun. it but I just with the inconsistency for me yeah yeah, yeah. but did you enjoy watching it um oh, you've got some friends in there yeah there's yeah, some people that, yeah. that are on there that have been at your parties <laughs> I've seen them in like in the in the because the party the was in pictures. the in, in yeah, the event well, right girls well, only yeah Diamond was on there um, mm-hmm. and she's my, my friend from America that came out here for the oh, event okay. so she just she's the one that just left today mm-hmm. uh, so she oh Diamond yeah oh yeah she's dope um, and then Hazel, who's also yeah, business yeah, yeah. partner for mm-hmm. Girls Only, and my ex is mm-hmm. on there. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, I know a few people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Would you ever yeah. do reality TV? Like, um, not really. No. I don't mm. even feel like I watch TV that much. To mm. be yeah. Honest. What do you do then? I I read. I dance. Mm. I listen to music. I'm a dancer, so I mm. listen to music a lot. Yeah. What kind I of dancing? Reading. Um, I d- I teach heels. But oh. I love dancing like hip hop as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like format. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Commercial. Okay. But I teach heels. Yeah. Do you know there's a um, heels dancing thing? 
<laughs> I'm, just not, I'm not well versed in that area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a, there's an event called Honey Trap. Yeah. And they have a heels dancing. Yes, Renekka came So you know, talk- yes, 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 yes. She told me about it. I wanted to go so bad, but I had just flown in and I, I couldn't make mm. it, but I would have loved to go. To yeah, that yeah. Oh, Honey Trap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Renekka d- does uh, like heels dancing. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did yeah. a heels class, which was so, I thought was so dope. Like yeah. to do that instead of like just event, like parties and mm-hmm. stuff like that to like mm-hmm. do other things for the lesbian community. Yeah. Would yeah. you do other things? Yeah, I want to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I would love to. Yeah. I've been wanting to. So my friend, um, Lexi Peters, she's in America. She's a masked dancer. Mm-hmm. And uh, what we're kind of what about, kind of dancer? Um like hip hop. She dances hip hop. Okay. Um she go goes at a lot of like lesbian mm-hmm. events as well. Um, but I want to bring her out here and do a mask femme, like sexy, like chair dance class. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm she, 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 she'll be there. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I have got, I've got dreams of being a stud stripper. Okay, Just, they've got dreams I can of help that. You with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, <laughs> I I feel like right now uh-huh. I'm lacking the skills and the knowledge. I don't okay. think there's many classes available for me. <laughs> I've tried to look for um, pole classes for myself. Oh wow! I don't think I can even get myself on a pole, but it's hard. It's baby steps, yeah. isn't it? Baby steps. You baby steps. I'll you could though. Yeah. You definitely could. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I really okay, got to well, do Should it. we start with a strip tease first, like a uh, without the pole? We'll start leave the pole for. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. been working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to do that mm-hmm. because it's just something that one thing about me. I want to try everything once. Love that. And I, yeah. like I said, I want my birthday. I wouldn't have that to be my birthday entrance. <laughs> But I'm going to wear a ballet so everyone can't see my face. But that's going to be my birthday entrance. I love that. Yeah. It's going to be giving um, Cart of the Body, but 2025, not this year, 2025. Mm. Um, Cart of the Body, yeah. But the British version. <laughs> okay. With less tattoos. I love it. Right. But if you need help with the choreography, I got you. Please. I got yeah. you. Oh, making <laughs> her dreams come true. I make you this. make my dreams come true. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I've been thinking about I've been saying this, talking about it for years. Yeah. I remember like, um, do you remember back in the day there was the stud stripper era a long time ago? There was like the cut of the body. Oh, yeah. There was, yeah, I know Carter, was it King yeah. Girl, King Kells? That was a long time ago. Anyway, there was a few on the internet. Mm. Yeah. I saw, yeah. yeah. And some of them came here and did a and did an event. Oh, this was yeah. years ago. This was years ago. <laughs> yeah. was like I think that's, what, that's where I first saw Carter the Body. I was was at an event somewhere mm. here that she used to. Oh, she, is it? They did a, was it here? They didn't. There was, was an event like a here. Show or something, right? Yeah, yeah, was. yeah. It was, but it was ages ago. It was a long mm. time ago. Yeah. But I missed it. Oh, you missed it. You didn't and go. I, I was really upset that I missed it. I was upset for like a <laughs> it week. Could have been your shot. <sighs> I could have auditioned for them. I could have <laughs> be a part of it. I don't think I've been ready to audition. Now. I don't think I was ready you, to audition. You, you got a shot. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, if you want to dance, anyone can dance. Mm. The thing about Ro is that <laughs> she can only dance when she's behind a woman. Like she, oh. that's like that's how your hips move when you're behind a woman. Somebody tried to make me dance in front of them. Like, be she the was front, be the front she line. To, she you have to be behind. She yeah, I have to be behind. She has to be behind. Be the one if she's not, she's okay. very stiff. I was. I went in front and nothing was moving. So what about doing like a chair lap dance? Like if the girl was sitting in the chair. I think yeah. I can do that. I've, I've, done it in, I've done it in my house. <laughs> but it, not in as a show. But I've done it in my house. You've done it for a, for a girl. Yeah. And what was what? How did they rate you out of ten? Like, what was the? I didn't ask for a rating out of ten. Okay. I didn't ask for a rating. But what, what, what was their what was their you know review? What followed up after that? Yeah. Tell, what did they say? Was, was it was good? good like, well, <laughs> it's always gonna follow up after. <laughs> that's, not, that's not an indication. I think the follow up is a bit too extra rated for this podcast. Mm. Yeah, but, but also that's not, <laughs> that's not an indication. <laughs> I need to know if it was good. It was good, man. It was good. Mm. Okay. okay. It was decent. It was decent. No, it wasn't professional, yeah. mm. but it got the job done. Right. Okay. And that's what that matters, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could anyway. definitely teach you. Yeah. But I think it would be such a vibe to get like couples or like friends, like mm. mass fans or even femme fans if you want to dance with each other and do like a sexy like routine, mm-hmm. yeah. beginner level, but fun. Nah, you know, should really cool. make that happen. Yeah, because yeah. we don't I have think that very popular. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of things that like in the cre- in creativity LA, yeah. we don't have here. So mm. bring it. Yeah. <laughs> you can bring it. Yeah, yeah. Over here. yeah, yeah. man. What so do, do you, you think is missing here that you think LA has creatively that is not here? It's just a variety. Like, even in terms of events, I don't think there's, like, m- different events going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I don't think so. I've, do you know what it is? I feel samey. like there's there's m- lots of different types of vibes. You mm. guys have created different type of vibes. Yeah. Mm. Over here, we don't have enough di- variation of different vibes. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like when you go to... This is outside of the queer events, though. If you go to, like, certain mainstream events, 
unless it's going to be certain DJs. Yeah. If it's going to be certain DJs, you know there's going to be that vibe. Yeah. But now everyone's having that DJ lineup. Mm, so you go into right. all the parties and it's the same vibe. Yeah, it's not different. And I don't, to be fair, I do think it's like that queer events as well. So your event wasn't like that. So your mm. DJ lineup was different to mm. what most of the DJs Because they have the same are. DJs. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people have the same DJs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to be honest... I don't go to a lot of queer events because it's the same vibe. So I'm going to go and get that vibe in one event. Yeah. But I'm not going to keep going to all the events to get the same vibe. Right. So that's, I think for me, that's what it is. I think yeah. our events are the best, so I don't really... Uh... <laughs> we, yeah, and the thing, I need to come to one. Yeah, we'll... Yeah, we'll... We'll sort you out. Yeah, we'll sort you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have an event, guys, by the way. <laughs> that's what they know, know, though, though. They, they know, don't they? It's on the 19th of May. Uh, they know that we're having a show. Um, not a show where... A party coming up. Do you know some people don't follow us on social media? People just listen to the podcast. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. It's 2024, people, babe. <laughs> you know, us, there's another thing as well. Like some people, because they might not be out, yeah. they don't follow queer pages so mm. no one can like clock them. So mm. some people have told us But that we've before. said it on the podcast already that yeah, we're having yeah. an event on the 19th. Have we? Yeah. Before the tickets were out. Oh, the, the tickets are out. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 the, the, tickets, out, the tickets are out. Um, we're having a brunch and a party, you know, so yeah. yeah. Even like, tickets. do you know what? With your, pro but doing promo, mm -hmm. I feel like for a new event that was here, it was really good. Thank that you. you had a lot of reach. Mm. Did, did you feel yeah. like that was like quite immediate or did you feel like you had to like work hard for that? Honestly, I was, I was, there's so many things that go into events. I'm sure y'all know, yeah. like on the background, like it's not just posting and finding a venue and then putting a ticket link up. There's so many people things think that that's what it is, you know? know? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like people are like, oh, that's so easy to do. No, mm. it was probably like three, three months, two to three months of me finding. First of all, I had to find a new audience that I wasn't really familiar with. So mm. I literally went on Instagram and looked mm. up like UK lesbians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just started following yeah. everybody. Mm. Started like liking their photos, commenting, mm. probably like two or three hours a day. Of yeah. Just like mm. trying to find yeah. UK lesbians mm. to mm. follow the page or to even know it exists. And I started a brand new page. So the mm. girls only LA one has is is well and it built page already. Right. We started a new one, Girls Only UK, because, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't want to cross promote too much yeah. because if they're doing an event at the same time, like how, how's it going to work, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the followers for the Girls Only page are like 90% from LA or America. Mm -hmm. So literally every day, hours a day, just finding all the UK lesbians. Yeah, and sense. besides that, like finding promotional places to help share, mm -hmm. get more visibility mm -hmm. that... I didn't know anybody. Thankfully, my girl's from here. Yeah. She helped connect a lot of the dots. Yeah. But it's a lot of background work. Like, yeah, finding people that are like, hey, like, can you share? Like, even with you guys. Like, yeah. the podcast. Like, publications. Yeah. We got publicized in a few different, like, magazines mm. and stuff. Like, digital magazines. Mm -hmm. Like, reaching out. Sending them mm -hmm. proposals and promo material. Like, it's just yeah. so many things every day. Trying mm -hmm. to find platforms to help get visibility for a brand new event yeah. that... Some people knew about the LA branch. Some people had no clue yeah, that yeah, it even yeah. existed. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, uh, the followers on the Girls Only UK page, there's only like a handful that know about the Girls Only LA one. Now they know, yeah. but they didn't know before. Mm -hmm. So I had to get a whole new audience. Yeah. But you know, it's thing though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Well though, and the thing that the lucky thing is that like people are always looking for somewhere to go. Like yeah. here, there's such a huge demand for it, and uh, I I mm. feel like we have. Uh, like well for me anyway a lot of events because yeah. I don't like to go out that much but there's mm. always such a high demand for it yeah like they're mm. always looking for like somewhere to go to meet people yeah. to have fun with queer people mm -hmm. do you know what I mean so I think it's amazing mm. yeah. have you how have you found like just making friends as well um it's been easy so far because like my my girl has so many friends mm. <laughs> so I've been like meeting them and thankfully vibe but new friends I haven't really ventured much, so mm. I need to do that. Like, I need to start going to other groups right, yeah, yeah, to yeah, meet yeah, new friends, yeah. like, besides just my own. Like, I need to do that. But everyone that I've met mm -hmm. randomly, like, in a club somewhere or anything mm. like that has been, like, so nice and so sweet mm. and will reach out to me and be like, let's hang. And it's, it's weird because, like, in L.A., people aren't really like that. They're like, right. oh, what does she want? Um, what, like, what, what is she trying to get out of me? Yeah. People are very sus. 
Okay. Not always. Like mm-hmm. in our event, mm-hmm. I feel like people are always like very like, you know, open and trying right. to like meet new people and stuff like that. But just in LA in general, mm-hmm. people are very sus about like, why are they trying to be my friend? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's very yeah. like keeping your circle. Yeah. But here people have been so open. Yeah, people are quite like, open, yeah. yeah. For the yeah. most part, yeah. yeah. People think that because we've got a friendship group for like six and mm-hmm. people feel like whether you can't t- sit with us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. which is very interesting <laughs> because when you come to talk to us, we're the loveliest people ever. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I think sometimes we just look, you know, I think way. it's just because we have a podcast. Can't I? <laughs> I think it's just, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just because we have a podcast. Yeah. It's just assumptions, probably. Yeah, because yeah. it wasn't like that before we had a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but then ha- having a podcast brings visibility, I guess. And then just sort of like, they, they, they that's their problem if they're putting us up here. I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, we are, we are, we are quite approachable. Even yesterday we were out and somebody came by themselves, but they knew us from like social media. She mm-hmm. stayed with us the whole night. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiki, yeah. shout out to Kiki. Yeah, shout out to Kiki. She's yeah. on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she's yeah, yeah, she's about to hold on. Yeah, I feel like people have been like the, when I meet them, they'll like actually follow up with me the next day and message me and be mm. like, Hey, if you wanna go for food or if mm. you wanna hang out, I'm like, Oh, that's nice. nice. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I'm like a little scared because I'm yeah. like traumatized from like LA for yeah. two years. <laughs> like the amount of friends, like I stopped making new friends at a certain mm-hmm. point because I was just like uh, acquaintances, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like to let people into your life is right. like you get when you get let down so much, mm. it's like it's hard to it's, trust people. Yeah, you it? gotta like protect yeah. your bubble, you know. Yeah. But I'm trying to be more open because I need to make new friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. in a place. whole new country. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Do you know what as well? But I will, as you do in life in general. Anyway, yeah. some people are mad. So I just yeah. The, I, the, listen, the, the, everyone here yeah. is genuine. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. No, there's some crazies out here, and I, I'm scared. I'm, I'm a really good judge of character as well. Like, so I like to like stand back a little bit. I'm a bit cautious. I like yeah. to like read people and like mm. see what they're really about. And energy is like really big for me, so I can really tell who's a real bitch and who's not a real bitch. Mm. And I've been seeing that a lot lately. Yeah. So I just like I just keep my you know mm. keep my distance. But I read people. I feel like you're like that too. I get yeah. the vibe you're like that. Yeah. 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 The, the, Especially like as I get older, I'm so it probably within like two minutes of meeting somebody, I can tell if they're like genuine, yep. down mm. to earth, mm-hmm. yeah. if I even want them in my space mm-hmm. or not. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm very open to yeah. new friendships, but mm-hmm. I'm also very protective. If I get the tiniest bad vibe, yeah. that's my gut telling me, don't even mm-hmm. bother. Mm-hmm. Your energy, like I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm busy. Yeah. I got a lot of things to do. Mm-hmm. So to invite somebody like into my space and make new friends, I want to, but I need to feel that connection or yeah. that vibe. Or, and I need to not get any red flags or like my gut telling me mm-hmm. not to. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just not even gonna bother. Yeah, you know? yeah. and don't ignore those red flags. No. Never. Don't ig- one thing I Ever. say: Ever. your gut is always right. You know, always your yep. gut is always, always right. Mm-hmm. If it's not, then there's something wrong with you, child. <laughs> <laughs> it, it always. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's the intuition. I, yeah, anytime yeah. I ignored it. I was like, what? Yeah, why did you I? Know? Yeah, yeah. You know. Sometimes I regret not you do, doing g- that. But you want to give people the benefit of doubt sometimes, isn't it? Like, mm. you want to give people grace. You want to, yeah. like, you know, be open. But but you get stung. And it's, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think at this age, I know better now. So. Yeah, I think we're too old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 How do you find that everyone hates young? In the clubs, especially. Yeah. Hates young? No, no, oh, everyone young. is young. Oh, um, well, here. For the, for the gays. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yes. Mm. But one thing that I will say that I loved is that because like on my ticket link, I put like age range, like oh. they choose oh, okay. what age. Oh. And I loved it. The majority was like 25 to 30s. Oh. I loved that. That's good though. Yeah. And because I, I was where I was like, oh my God, eight, I, I didn't know until like not even that long ago, a few months mm. ago, yeah. there was like 18 plus. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The drink. Oh yeah, because he was 21. Yeah, because 21, yeah. 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 I didn't even know and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I was worried. I was like, oh my God, there's going to be a bunch of baby studs mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not baby studs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, yesterday it was like baby studs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but it was it was nice. Yeah. So I, liked, I liked the age range, but I do notice that in the clubs, like mm-hmm. even the clubs back where uh, me and my girl live, uh, they're young. They are. A lot of young people. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you look about 12. They, they're kids, yeah. they're kids. But that's good. You know what? You've tapped into like a different market because my friend was there. She was like, there's girls that we haven't seen. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. So you tapped into something special, I like, think. It's that's probably great. all those hours on Instagram. Yeah. Like, you yeah. Two hours a day. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I feel like also when, because I don't think I saw any young, young lesbians put like, repost on their pages. I think everyone yeah. that I saw reposting was like 25 mm. plus. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a good sign. Yeah. No offense <laughs> to the 18 year olds and no you know, the lower Gen Zs. No offense. Yeah. But like, we just want to party for age mates. Yeah. 
you yeah, know. know. So do yeah. I. Yeah. 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 I already feel tired and old, so I just want. I'm not. I'm not old. Right? No, no. None of us. None of us are old. But yeah. mm-hmm. it's a different vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's a different vibe. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be like pushed around and people just being ignorant and. Nah. You know. Yeah. Social awareness. Nah. Yeah. I feel like when you're older. Mm-hmm. You become very aware mm. of everyone around you. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Not everybody. Yeah. But most yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Even in the club, just like being aware, being thoughtful. Yeah. Had an afterthought. And I yeah. feel like when you're like 18, 19, 20, yeah. no offense. But like, I, even me, when I was 18, 19, 20, I didn't care about... messy and chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just doing my thing. I did not care about anybody around me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate that awareness in mm-hmm. the club. <laughs> yeah. You know? Do you find that because it's 21 plus you can drink in America, yeah. like everyone's a bit more older in the club over there or is it... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of older older people in the clubs. There's, there's young 21 year olds, but like usually I feel like it's like 25 plus mm. Right. Mm. yeah because the 21 year olds in la don't got no money to go to the club oh yeah because la's expensive isn't it yeah. how much would be a drink how much would a drink be like if you get well everyone gets bottles more than drinks 18, right like 18 um. 18 to 21 dollars a drink oh. Oh. For like a, in like hollywood west hollywood area like a single sh- like yeah like a single shot with like a mixture <laughs> if you want a double it's like 30 to 40 hell no <laughs> okay i go to la <laughs> Oh no. So how much would a bottle? Let's say you get a, got a bottle of Sirocco or something. How much is that? Would that be? The so the clubs Hollywood West Hollywood probably the cheapest bottles around five six hundred. I thought you was gonna say like three hundred. <laughs> no, there there are clubs like in the Valley, like mm. not Hollywood West Hollywood, like in the Valley that are like more like lounges mm. that probably have them for like three fifty four hundred plus tax. A pla- so don't forget, tax. Tax. Yeah. don't forget the tax. Yeah. Oh, and gratuity. Um, that you have to pay for right in america yeah yeah Yeah. if you don't if you don't that's a little bit that's a bit crazy yeah yeah they judge you for that in america no they the bottles you have to pay for gratuity yeah okay yeah most clubs like you have to pay so we went out yesterday (laughs) um to a place called eden Uh it's a lounge and it's it's really good to sleep anyway and (laughs) um i think the if you got a bottle of tequila it was like 120 amazing yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, well, there's different types of tequila. Like, yeah. it started at 120, there's one at 180. Yeah. But not. No, I've been to some places here where the bottles are like 80. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Give me five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That is, and obviously, you don't amazing. have that. You don't have a plus tax. Yeah. The gratuity. Cr- cr- we yeah. don't have that. We just pay what is mm. on the, the label, and that is it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. So, since you've been here, what kind of events have you been to? Um, so my girl works at 10, so I've been to mm. some of their events in, in Cardiff. Mm. Yeah. Um, not really many, to be honest. I've mm. only, I went to Lick yesterday for the first time. Mm-hmm. That was my first, was it my first? Yeah, I think it was my first queer event that mm. I've been to besides mine. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I honestly haven't been out much. Mm. Mostly I got here and was like culture shock, yeah. <laughs> trying to get used to a new country when yeah. I first got here. <laughs> And I was kind of like just in the house, like scared. Yeah. Like, I don't want to drive. Yeah. Like, Are you going to drive on the other different sides? I, I still yeah. haven't learned to drive. Oh. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the, you know, you guys have roundabouts. Yeah, yeah. You oh, have yeah, roundabouts. You oh, that. It just goes straight, no. babe. It just goes straight. Oh, it's yeah. It's like straight. Yeah. yeah. So easy. You guys could drive in America, like, oh, so easy. Yeah. Here, those roundabouts, I get anxiety. It is scary oh. at first, though. Like, Do you know what? I didn't even like, mentally register that they're, they're, you guys don't have roundabouts. Yeah, like, on so, their freeways, it just goes straight, mate. Yeah. It just goes straight. What, what if you want to go right? We well, if you turn right, then yeah, you turn it. right though. You yeah. can turn right, and if if yeah, you want to come back, you gotta well go yourself. back on another street and then go left. Uh, Everything's like a square. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. There's really there's no roundabouts. Like it's it's terrifying. Every time I get to a roundabout here and I'm not driving, like whoever's driving, I'm just like, what are we it doing? looks crazy though. What's happening? Yeah. What are we doing? Some drivers what? don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, somebody like, tweeted once saying, um, okay, she was like. You're approaching the roundabout mm-hmm. and you need to take the second exit. Mm-hmm. What lane do you stay in? Mm-hmm. And then she had like, uh, it was like um, it was <laughs> like with a poll. Pole, yeah. 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 And most, like, I think something like 80% of people got the wrong answer. Mm-hmm. And these are British people who are yeah, on the British. I'm not, and I have to be drive. honest, I put the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. And Where I used to put be left. A, I don't remember what I put. What's the right answer? I think it was. It's just, it's you had, left to, you had to be in the left lane, or the second from the left. It was the second from the left. Oh, no, it was, oh, I don't remember what. It was. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you if you're driving, you would. But you, you, when I'm driving, I go in the right one. But like by explaining it, yeah. I could, and the things Ashton about because I used to be a bus driver, 
Do you know the red buses? I used to drive that. She's and been driving that for means... 50, 11 years. She should know. I've been <laughs> driving since I was 17. Yeah. Yeah, see, I have no chance. I'm you can do it. Really I did it scared. recently. You yeah. can do it. I mean, but here now, it's a whole new fucking yeah, board game, oh, isn't I it? Would yeah. <laughs> I would never drive in London. Yeah, That's it, never going to happen. The London roads are tiny. Mm-hmm. Like, they're, it's giving squash, basically. Yeah, no, yeah. you know what else, too? I don't, I, I don't get it. There's, like, roads where you... Well, cars can go both ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot, sorry. Cars can go both ways, but there's not room for both ways. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one car I'm has like, to stop, but the other yeah. one has to come that in. Makes and makes sense. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're tiny. Like, you have to pull over and mm-hmm. let cars go. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. Car- yep. <laughs> I just, there's all these little things I don't even really register, register. like it's not like that yeah <laughs> it's, no it trips me out every time mm. I'm like why you don't, you hate that <laughs> whenever you have to give way you hate that I hate that because it's they call it giving way yeah the giving yeah, way yeah, because yeah. obviously if you're going and there's a car parked on yeah. your side you have to stop for the person to come the thing is the thing about giving way Unless there's, unless it says you have to give way, there's no rules to yeah, give but, way. Yeah, but it's a nice So it's just between do. you and the other person. But, but if there's a car in front of you, there's a car in front of you and you But you know, some people, are, some people are dickheads. Yeah. So yeah. some people are just gonna, if some me see me, we're gonna, we're gonna sit down here all day. <laughs> I will turn the engine off and I'll be, until you decide to reverse back because yeah. you got space behind Woo. you and I ain't. I'm turning off the engine. I'm saying the only reason why I didn't like it because we drive manual. Like we mostly like, like a and lot of people, a lot drive, people manual. drive manual. Oh, so now I have yeah, to go into no. gear one. That's why I'm pissed off now. Do you know what these days a lot of people have <laughs> automatic cars these yeah. days, but there is manual. Obviously, people don't really drive. No, no, they stick or stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. nobody drives stick. There's a headache. I mean, yeah. it's very, very few people. Mm. Yeah. And it's probably because they have a really old school car right. that they like a vintage car that they mm-hmm. just like it's cool to mm. drive stick with a vintage car, but most drive automatic. So. Mm, if we do stick here, well, we'll would do you, both. We'll would do you, both. Would you drive in America? Yeah, mm. you could. It's yeah. easy, mm. and it's very yeah. also. Maybe I'm just not noticing them, or I can't read them. But there's not as many like visual cues, like signs, signs here for driving. Mm. Do you think there's That's, not a lot here? I don't think so. I think there's I think so is, many. Here. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm just not noticing that. Maybe but, like, not. In America, there's it's so like direct. Anyone can go to America and drive and mm. not have an issue. It's like this. You know exactly what you're doing. Right. The only thing I don't I don't understand is obviously we we have ours in miles per hour, mm. so they will we'll say thirty miles. And I'm collections? seeing America will say, what, what would what would the speed limit be? It's miles. Is I it think. still miles? Yeah, I thought but, I that's all hundred. Was that a mile? Oh was yeah, I, no, no no yeah. On some highways you can go like seventy five eighty miles per hour. See, we can't do that. We so when I saw that, I was thinking that can't oh, yeah, be right. We can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like seventy. I think, our, I think our national speed limit. Oh no, God, that's just is it sixty or seventy? I feel like it's 70. Texas was... goes up to like 75, 80. And then mm. LA is usually like 60. Maybe 75. Is that just, on the, is that just on, the, on the highways? Yeah, highway or like um, like frontage roads, like long yeah. roads next to the highway. Yeah. Ours is even in, well, in London anyway, it's 20. Oh my God. And they've changed oh, all of it terrible, to 20. Yeah. yeah. So everyone yeah. has to go really slow. Yeah. That's yeah. Terrible. And, you know, some people may or may not do more than that. I'm not so, saying that. So yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that you should you should do that, but some people do. <laughs> yeah, do and, we don't encourage speeding. <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't I encourage. do feel like people are more courteous drivers here, though. Oh, yeah. Like, mm. Some are, are dickheads, but yeah, yeah, yeah. most are way more courteous than mm-hmm. yeah. Like, for sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How has been the, f- how the food been? The oh my food God. <laughs> She's gonna say shit. I can already see it in her face. Yeah, I can see you, it in her face. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, I always feel like I have to ask for salt. <laughs> Damn. Uh, where are you going to? Where have you Honestly, been? Honestly, I need no. I'm still giving it a chance because I don't feel like I've been to enough places. Mm. I usually, me and my girl cook at home, and the food's amazing there. Mm. I don't ask for salt or nothing. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. A one. Mm-hmm. But when I go to restaurants, I'm always like. I'd rather just us cook at home. Yeah, fair enough. But it depends where you go, though. Yeah, I need to find the good spots. Because I, I, mm. I haven't found one restaurant yet that I've been like, this is the one. Right. Mm. And I also feel like it needs to be cultured to some degree. Yeah. Do you know but what? But I do notice they don't put salt on the table. No. No, you have they to don't. But you in America, yeah, that must be your palate, though. It might be yeah, your palate. Because is. in America, the sugar's too much sugar, yeah. too much salt. <laughs> you know, yeah. it might be your palate. It's giving cancer, diabetes. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, those yeah. Things, you know, yeah. It's giving. Do you know, it's funny. After we finish recording today, I'm going to something called Black Eats. Mm-hmm. And it's it's basically, I don't want to call it a food festival, but it's just a food it event. Is, <laughs> yeah, where well, they have lots of like ethnic foods. And they have um, 
like little stalls to buy like books and stuff like that as well. Mm. So I'm going to that today and I think they're going to have another one in June. Ooh, and like, that. I'm going to send you the link for that. Yeah, yeah I might actually go there. Yeah. Too, my, one of my American friends is still here. And we were okay. Like, uh, Go do some touristy stuff, so maybe. We'll yeah, 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 I'm gonna. Send you, I think I think the tickets are sold out for today, though. Oh, okay. But I'll send you a link for it, so yeah, you can, you, so you're aware. I just need to taste some good food, like yeah. in a restaurant. Do you yeah. like, um, sort of like African food, Caribbean love, food? Yeah. Mm. Love. Where are you from? Would, yeah, I'm from Texas, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very South Texas. Mm-hmm. But my family's Cuban. Oh. Mm. Mm. Good food. Ooh, <laughs> the Cuban food. Mm. Mm. Arroz con pollo. Ooh, come on. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, there's a restaurant called um, Akara mm-hmm. in London Bridge, near okay. London Bridge. I went there last week. 10 10. Mm. Yeah, what type of food is it? It was like a fusion of like Brazilian and Nigerian Ooh. kind of like. So Akara is um is a Nigerian dish and mm. I think it's made out of beans or something. That's the first time I had it, but Nigerians would know mm, that's yeah. their thing. But I think that they've done like a fusion version oh, and I had it with fun. prawns and I had it with um what was the other one I had? I think it was something else, I don't remember. <laughs> but I tried to have most of the things in the menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything slapped. Mm. Try Akara. It's a nice restaurant. Okay. You know, the music is good. Oh, they play Afrobeats yeah. the whole time and piano the whole Love time that. in there. Yes. Yeah, it's giving. I'm excited to try more food, honestly. Mm. Like, I'm, I still feel like I'm a baby here and I need to, like, explore. Mm. I need to yeah. do a lot more exploring. Yeah. But I'm excited to try the food. But yeah. I, did, I did notice that. And my palate is definitely very different. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. me and my girl talk about it all the time because, like, I'm... I, crave like salty really mm. bad food for you mm. <laughs> i need that to change yeah though. maybe we'll change over time i'm trying to live yeah. a long time yeah. you know? no, like, yeah 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 do you know what oh. gets on my nerves yeah when people <laughs> when americans come here and everyone tells them to go to nando's uh, yeah nando's yeah, is not like nando's. the greatest it was okay yeah it's, it's all right but it's not like amazing nando's is not some groundbreaking no, thing nah, i don't not. know what everyone says like we go on tiktok and some people be like oh my god the british food was so bad yeah and then <laughs> where did like, you go <laughs> Where'd you go to Nando's? In the comments, they'd be like, go to Nando's. Like, shut up, man. But yeah, Nando's. Nando's is not great. Nando's is okay. But you know what's crazy? When I went back to America this mm. this last time, I went back for like to sort out my visa for like two months. I was yeah. back for two months. I gained 12 pounds within the first three weeks of being there. Swear. Yeah. And I wasn't even eating ab- like more than normal. It's yeah. just what's in the food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, I know that this food. And, and I felt like shit. Mm. Like lethargic mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. here, I noticed even if the food is like not necessarily my palate, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like shit afterwards. Yeah, I don't like even when I eat a big meal, I won't feel like super lethargic. Yeah, or, like, like tired my stomach, anything mm. like that. But in America, I was eating, and I was like, oh my god, my stomach yeah. hurts. I'm like clammy, like yeah. <laughs> lethargic, like what's wrong? Yeah, you know, the f- it, I think restaurant ready for umber and yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the food laws are a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, the food laws yeah. are different. Though, we have a lot of <laughs> things that we're not allowed to yeah. have here. Yeah. The chemicals yeah. in yeah. America are just trying mm. to kill you, you know? I do not know. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes <laughs> I like it. Though. Do you? Did you like the food in America? Um, so, obviously, I went to New York the last yeah. time I went. Yeah. I've only been to Miami and New York. Mm-hmm. And I like the food in Miami. I really did enjoy the food in Miami. Yeah. But when I went to New York, <laughs> though, did I had you a share tough pizza? Time. She even tried the pizza. You know the pizza that was like on TikTok and it was trending yeah. with the what was it? Oh, oh, um, um, the the cur- not curry. It was curry called girl? oxtail s- cuts and slices, mm. and they go they go t- they go viral online. Yeah, and normally the queue is like around the corner. But luckily the day I went, there was no queue, yeah. and everyone says get the oxtail pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I had the oxtail pizza, and I was with my friend who's British as well. She yeah. was out. We just happened to be there at the same time, and I took a bite. She took a bite. And I, I, I feel like I said it was good. I was like, it was good. And then she looked at me and was like, you know, you know, you fucking lying. I was like, it's mid. <laughs> it's, it's actually, mid. yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. Because basically I went to a lot of the TikTok things. Yeah. I saw on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was on a solo trip as well, yeah. Mm. So I just did things what everyone recommended. I'm never doing it again. I'm going to do my own research. I'm yeah. going to ask locals what to eat because right, right. I was spending so much money on food and I didn't like it, mm. yeah. so. But I feel like the the British people's palate and Americans' palate is very different. Because mm. I feel like if I take someone here to America, they might not like 
some of the food. Mm. It might be like too heavy or too mm. greasy or too salty mm. or just like too much. Yeah. I feel like American food is a lot. Like yeah, it's flavor a lot. wise. Yeah. A little a little much now yeah. that I'm like you know, comparing it. Especially how I feel. I can tell that it's bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clearly Do you know what I did have though? Me. I did have um so the first couple of days I stayed with someone called Brie. Shout out to Brie. Brie even does events in New York as well. And Brie bought me roti from the Trin- Trinidadian sport and Brie is vegan. Mm. That mm. was the best thing I ate in New York. Yeah. Was, oh. it, was it vegan? Like it was vegan, yeah. Chickpea. Yeah, they got me like a chickpea mm. roti oh, for yeah. like breakfast and it was it was very filling though. Mm, yeah. But it, it felt good after. Flavours. Yeah. Yeah. I, only I had, enjoyed that. I had Popeyes when I went to New York where I had it like every day because oh, I, I didn't like anything. Well. Like I yeah. didn't, I couldn't find any food spots that I really liked. So oh, I, was I like Popeyes. Yeah, Popeyes. Popeyes there is better Popeyes. than Popeyes here. Yeah. Popeyes chicken. Yes. Yes. It's like they put crack in that shit. It's great. Yeah. They got no. the biscuit. Yeah, I don't know what the biscuit really is. But what? <laughs> biscuit? I don't know what a biscuit is. <laughs> it's not the same biscuit here, but yeah, that's what I had. And um, I hop as well, which is terrible. I probably I didn't like but, IHOP. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I went to I hop it when, when I went to South Beach. Mm. I had I hop there and I didn't have it again after that. You didn't like it? Yeah. yeah. I hop yeah. is not. I mean, I hop is like, I grew up on a hop with like my family. It's like going to I hop for like the cheap. Sunday meals mm, yeah, and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, but it's yeah. not. It's, it's yeah. not gourmet. No, <laughs> it's not some bougie shit. No, it's not. It's yeah. not. But yeah, I had I had pizza as well. I had Papa John's there, and it was terrible. It was. Do you know, yeah. I think you meant to go to like the authentic. I didn't go to authentic pizza. I had Pizza Hut. You you need. I had the one dollar yeah. pizza that was nice. Yeah. Like the one dollar pizza was nice. Actually, I had that. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. That was nice. I should have had that then. Yeah, 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 I feel like British and Americans like disagree on like food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So I see it on TikTok so palates. much. If you think about it, you're eating something like your palate is building up your whole life. You're mm. not gonna like take to the same right. things. You know? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So That's before true. we wrap up this episode, yeah. let us know what's next with the events with you mm. everything like that Maybe people, what people should look out for let us know yeah so Girls Only UK we mm-hmm. are gonna be hitting Birmingham Pride Love that. on May 24th the Friday I, that sounds I right yeah, yeah. Friday, <laughs> that's right <laughs> May 24th at the Nightingale Club Mm-hmm. It's going to be lit. It's the first mm-hmm. time Nightingale Club is having an all women's event. Oh, wow. okay. Congratulations. Yeah. That's going to be good. So it's gonna, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a vibe. Shout out to Soraya mm-hmm. for that and my girl for connecting all the yeah. dots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but after Birmingham Pride, I think we're going to hit London back up again. Yeah. That. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited. We plan to do once a month, but we mm-hmm. might pick it up and do more. Mm-hmm. We'll see kind of how yeah. it goes. I want to do a day party real bad. Yeah. Sure. Like an R&B Afro beat kind yeah. of Bye, Let's be going. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll be there for that one. Yeah. We like day parties. Yeah, we, we love do. a day party. We, like we would go home and sleep. Yeah. So. Me too. I'm tired yeah. these days. Yeah. Like these last two nights, I'm, my social batteries. I'm, I'm, I probably won't be out till Birmingham Pride. Oh, I don't <laughs> even blame you. I'm running on vibes right now. I'm, I'm minus 10 at this point yeah. because yeah. we went yeah. out the whole weekend. Do you know what? Exactly. We've never been to Birmingham Pride together. We should go. You should. Yeah. I mean, we should come. Actually, we're going to come to the event. Yeah, we should, we should actually, go and yeah. come. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Mm. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah. do that. We'll do that. Yeah, it's going to be a vibe. The ticket link will be out soon. Probably mm-hmm. by the time this is posted. So This is going <laughs> to come out on Wednesday. Yeah. 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 Ticket link out. Perfect, yeah. guys. Yeah. So make sure we're going to put the link in the bio down below. So yeah. make sure you copy a ticket. <laughs> Click that link. Come to Birmingham. We're going to be there. Yeah. Nana. Yeah. Hold her to this. I've told her we're going to be there. So we're going to be we're there. We're going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gonna try hold it. them to this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Thank we really appreciate it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we really love that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for listening guys make sure you use the hashtag tutus podcast and conversation on twitter make sure you rate and review us like comment subscribe all that good mm-hmm. stuff make sure you follow valerie you know show love until next week peace, peace.